This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today from Manning Ventures is the CEO, Mr. Alex Klenman, and the chairman of Manning Ventures, Mr. Etienne Mushevich. Gentlemen, it's great to have you on a new story with familiar people. How are you both today? Very well. Thanks for having us. Doing great, Gerardo. Thanks a lot. Well, Etienne, let me start with you. You and I now have, uh, you know, participated in, in in multiple ventures. Clearly, we're of the same opinion. I think that we're in a commodity super cycle that's going to run for some time, and and I think you've done a really good job of positioning ahead of a lot of mega trends. And so, obviously, one of those mega trends is the battery metal space. There's demand as far as the eye can see. Lithium and copper are going to play a huge part in that. Manning Ventures, and, and I'll let you provide the overview here, is, is a vehicle designed to take advantage of that. So for those that aren't familiar to the story, because it is a new story, at least in its current incarnation, can you give us an overview of the company and, and why you decided to put it together? 100%. And, um, you know, we initially started Manning a couple of years ago, and the company has grown tremendously since then. And just recently, just so your viewers know, I mean, the structure has been totally recapitalized. We rolled it back about four for one. There's only, and we, so we rolled it back four for one and uh, we raised some money. So right now there's like 34 million out, 34 million shares outstanding. We're sitting at about a $2.3 million market cap Canadian. And out of that, about half of that is sitting in cash. And uh, so we think we're in an incredible position uh, to take advantage of the entire mining market and more specifically in the in the um, in the ener- battery energy space, energy metal space, and so we found this. We you know we had our iron ore assets initially. We had um, well we have lithium assets as well, and then we got this copper asset called Copper Hill, and it's in Nevada, and uh, we thought it was an incredible asset. And I'll let Alex kind of walk you through it a little bit more in detail on that. But as a vehicle itself, with the structure that we have, with the cash that we have, uh, with the rollback that we just did, uh, and especially the price of copper where it is right now, over four bucks, over 420, um, I think we're in an incredible position to take advantage of the market. And so that's why we wanted to get this story out there right now, just because we think it's a a perfect time to do that. And uh, we just announced that we started to do work on our copper asset. Um, so I think this is the time for all your viewers to be watching the company. Good overview, Alex. Uh, again, you and I have been involved in, 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 in multiple deals. It's been, you know, a, a tough couple of years, but a great couple of years to go get quality assets in position, um, for, for, for the years where all of this is fun, right? And it's starting to get really, really fun in a lot of sectors. So I just, I wanted to get your take on your involvement and kind of the direction that you see for Manning moving forward. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know, as Etienne spoke to there, and you have alluded to, um, the energy space the, is critical. Um, in, in, it, in if we are into this super cycle that, that we're, we're speaking of, uh, commodities are going to fly. We know, you know, once interest rates start to come down, we're really going to see a boost. So we're positioning ourselves for that, and, and copper is going to play a huge part over the next, you know, 12 to 24, even 36 months out. Um, and Copper Hill, the, the project that Etienne spoke to, uh, we liked it because it, it, it sort of establishes a footprint for us in, in the copper space. It's, it's in the Walker Lane trend in, in Nevada, which is well known for massive mineralization. Uh, we're only about 30 kilometers uh, east of the Yarrington Copper District, which hosts multiple deposits, including Anaconda's old prolific Yarrington Copper Mine. So, we're in a we're in a really good place for this type of exploration. We know uh, that the project itself uh, has been is a past producer. For early part of the 20th century, a million pounds of copper was produced from shallow underground workings, uh, up to 11 percent. Uh, in those shipments, um, more recent sampling from from the uh, 2000s got you know as high as 12.7 percent copper. Um, it's uh, it's it, it's giving us what we want you know to get on the ground and get the work done. So we, we've started a program. Um, we're targeting. We're we're looking for tar- for drill targets. So um, right now we're doing a, a property wide soil and in, in rock geochem program. 
Um, we're going to do geological mapping and, and, and good old rock sampling. And, and we're also doing a property-wide gravity survey. And, and the results of all of that will give us some prime targets to drill that we hope to uh, late summer, early fall. Um, as Etienne mentioned, we have the capital uh, to do so. Um, and, and we're also, I should mention, looking to expand in the copper uh, space. So we've got our eye on a couple of more advanced projects. Um, we're certainly not um, resting on Copper Hill alone as, as our only copper asset. So uh, we're in a good position uh, to go shopping for, for something more advanced and something um, uh, that's also going to add value. Well, you, you answered my next question. And the reason I was going to ask it is, and, and this is important for people that may be new to the resource space, share structure is everything, especially you know at the inception of a company. And, and the way you position the structure allows for the company uh, the flexibility to go and, and enroll in multiple assets without getting too diluted. Often with juniors, you know, you're an exploration company and before you know it, you have a, a hundred million shares without a real flagship asset. And, you know, that's a recipe for, mm -hmm. you know, future dilution and a recipe for, um, you know, shareholders not getting uh, the most out of even a good bull market. So I, I like what you've done um, in regards to the structure. I hope the structure stays and maintains you know, in in, uh, in 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 a good place, and obviously you're in the right jurisdiction, and you have the right metals. So I'm excited to see mm -hmm. what Copper Hill provides, but I'm also excited to see with the vast network that the two of you have, what you're able to bring in to the Manning portfolio. Anything else to add to that, Etienne? Yeah, I mean, if you look, I I have yet to find another copper company with an asset like ours with a structure like ours with the cash in the bank. I mean, you see a lot of these companies with you know, $2 million market cap, but, you know, they don't either, they don't have an asset or they have no cash to do any work on them. And in this market where I feel like you're going to, obviously copper has been, has been moving higher, but I think it's going a lot higher and uh, you need to be able to take advantage of it. And we're in a position to take advantage of it with the cash that we have in the bank and, uh, and with the work that we're going to be doing. So I think 2024 for Manning is going to be a very, very exciting time. Good stuff. I'm looking forward to having the both of you on. I'm looking forward to the developments. I think you definitely have, you know, the copper price um, on your side. And so let's see how Copper Hill performs and let's see what you're able to dig up literally. Thanks again, gentlemen. Appreciate the time. Awesome. Thanks really so much, Gerardo. Gerardo. Always. Thank you. All right. Cheers, fellas. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care everybody.